Right then, hello everyone, this is Lurch the Gamer, we are back, and as of recording this now, I've finished Spongebob uh, Squarepants Battle of the Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, so what we're going to do today is move on to a different game, and this is called Eliza Etelariza, I can't remember how you say it, Ever Darkness, the something something. And this isn't my first time trying to play this game. I tried to play it twice. It was the second game I tried to uh, upload uh, on YouTube and it didn't really work out. It wasn't very successful. Uh, yeah, the first time it, my computer just completely froze. It was on the wrong settings. Uh, so you couldn't really see any of the game. And the second time... Um, I wasn't able to edit the video because I put it on MB, MVK and for whatever reason MVK is not compatible on the editing software I do uh, so yeah it's just an earache to be honest but yeah we are recording and we're going to play this for the third time Hopefully it goes well this time. I hope to God. Oh my God. At least I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, settings. Screen resolution. We'll do that. Graphics options. Yeah. Start game. Let's have a look. Curry Tecmo Games Gust. And there's a cutscene here. Rise or rise, ever darkness in the secret hideout. This game has Japanese uh, audio, so Japanese voice actors with English subtitles, and these are all the companions, so he's a companion, that guy, and so is that guy there. I think he is as well, I can't remember. The annoying thing about this game is you can't save when you want to. It's such a pain in the ass. I'm not sure if this game takes more storage than Spongebob. Probably does. Depends how long I'm recording for. I'll only be recording for a night. Well... Yeah, that's the thing though. Let's just check the settings audio. You know what, I'm going to go very easy, I know this sounds a bit like what the hell, oh come on. This game I think is quite hard. It's all about, um, and I think we can always, we can always up the settings anyway. Uh, this is, this is all about, this is a real time 
everything's in real time you, so there's no wasting around there's no thinking oh, I'll press this that and the other like if you wait around too long the enemies will attack you and finish you up yeah I'm I'm picking very easy because I can't really be bothered with um, you know, off screen grinding it's just oh. Whenever I have to off-screen grind or fight the same enemies over and over again just to level up my characters, I kind of lose interest. And it kind of uh, sucks away the enjoyment, in a sense, of uh, the game. It's like I want to get to the main story, and it won't let me unless I have to do the same stuff over and over again and do the tedious parts. Uh, so, yeah, and hopefully if I set it on very easy, I won't, I'll just be able to Wits through it pretty much. So, yeah, we're gonna go new game. I mean, let's get this. On an ordinary island called Kirku, in an ordinary village called Razenbob, Razenbob, I live my ordinary life just hoping that someday something interesting will happen. I think people in real life are like that. You're just waiting, but you gotta get yourself out there. You can't just wait around. I'm Liza Lee Stout. I'm Liza Stout, but everyone calls me Ryan. I'm a normal daughter of a normal farmer. I would love to live in this village, it's so nice. The windmill, the countryside aspect of it. The people. I spent most of my days in my room with my friends. Okay. I all kinds of ideas and stories. I think mean, she's not alone. She's got company. I just want to break out of my daily boredom. The drought is coming, but for now the sky is bright. The perfect day for an adventure. Okay. It's good to know. Dad always tells me to think about how the wind feels, and I'm like, I'm not wind, I'm a person. Yeah, and then your mum ends up yelling at you, right? She can be really scary. As if I'm a, oh, take a look at this. I found a book with some diagrams in it that I can almost make out. This again? You've got all those stacks of books in the basement and you can't read any of them. It's not my fault my great grandfather died before he could teach grandfather how to read them. Tayo Mongaratan. Uh, uh, no, I think it's Tayo Mongratan. Or Mongartan. Yeah, Tayo Mong. Tayo or Tayo Mongartan. Well, I think it's admirable that you still refuse to give up. Oh, this is Vent, Mars Link. Yeah, boss, and Lumber spotted me. On the way over, pushed me into some mud. I hate those guys, I don't mind them acting all superior, but I am not okay with them bullying you. Yeah, I don't like bullies either, shit. Boss is the son of the guys that control the village's entire water supply. We can't exactly stand up to him. We can, he gives a shit. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this. Today's topic of discussion is planning our mainland adventure. Your mama goes off to the uh, track by complaining about your farm work. Shh, don't put them there. Oh, by the way, some mainland merchant is around today, right? Oh yeah, everyone is talking about it. Everyone in town is talking about it. They're breaking a bunch of vegetables or something. Emerging from the mainland, we should go check it out. Huh? 
We should go see them, the love. Let's use the port on the mainland to get here, right? What? You really want to go all the way, all that way? I didn't sign up for this. What are you talking about? Weren't you listening? We've got to go out. Got to go on an outside. Got to go on an outside. On adventure outside the village. I'm so tired, sorry. There's no change in your mind now, I guess we're committed to getting off this island. I guess, but the point was to come up with a plan, right? We haven't planned anything yet. We'll get to the port, borrow a boat, then make our way to the port on the other side. That's the plan. So the fucking plan. Give it up, Teo. Like it or not, you're coming along for the ride. There's no time to wait till adventure has officially begun. Wait up, Riser. Stop right there, young woman. You're trying to drag Lent and Tayo into your troublemaking again? My own stout. That's all, Mum. Mum. I didn't do anything yet. Anyway, I'll be back later. Lent, Tayo, let's go. Sorry about this. Yeah, sorry. Hey, get back here and help your father for Okay, so that was our mum. Rise's room is the foundation of the game, so make sure you learn the features available here. Uh, you, this is where you can save load your progress. You can also rest here from time for this day. Make sure you process venture and so Okay. Yeah, so we can change. Yeah, I don't care about all this. I'm not really going to use any photos. So this is what the game looks like. Seems a bit, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can control the frame rate. But it looks quite pretty, the game. Here's where we live. All the trees, nature at its finest. It's quite a nice and happy village. It'd be good for retirement. Look all the windmills there. So there, she's a. Uh, a family of farmers, I think. This is a, this is a room. There's a load of messages. Eh, what do we do? What do we want to do? Add. How do you select? Yeah, rest. Uh, we don't need to do that. I've got a pretty big headache. It's because I've been on the screen all day, but oh well. Kind of want to save. Yeah, 
like I said, I played this twice before. And I got, I didn't go that far, but, ugh. Would it be nice if this was my first? If it was the first game I did on YouTube, but never mind. I'm playing it now. Those, yeah, those slime things, they're enemies in the game. Uh, they probably have, uh, they probably, uh, have gotten, they drew inspiration from it, from, uh, the slimes and Dragon Quest, probably. Because they are quite, they look quite similar. Well, they're a bit different, a different design, but, you know, they probably had uh, inspiration from, uh, Dragon Quest monsters, because that's quite a popular RPG series. Yeah, we can head off now. And there's there's another. Yeah, let's go out of here. Um, there's another game, the Everlizer, Eatler Razor Riser. Um, yeah, one that uh, after this game. So. Yeah, that's coming out on the 26th of January, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play that as well after I finish this game. I don't know how long this game's gonna take me. Usually about 40 hours RPGs take. I'm a dragon slayer. Now you have to call me a hunter, the hunter of dragons. Uh, yeah. So there's all the people that are just uh, going about their daily lives. Oh, there's this Kaiku with a rucksack there. Wonder what he has to say. Can we talk to him? No, guess not. Just goes past us. Look beautiful though this game. Okay, let's have a look. I'm not really supposed to go here, but oh well. Let's just go where we're supposed to go, let's not wander too much. You can always uh, do a bit of a ponder later on if we wanted to see what you have to say and more. This used to be a lot more water all over the islands there, that's why the Looks like there are canals, um, canals everywhere. Let's continue on. There's a lamp there. Yeah, I'd love to have a holiday here. Or just live here, I wouldn't mind living here for the rest of my life. Look at this. She said she's bored or whatever, but you know, she lives in all this space. Bowden District, okay, let's go. Ride the boat, ride the boat, and the port will float. Make it sound so simple, how the heck are we supposed to get our hands on the boat? Yeah, we've got to avoid letting the Agatha catch us at the same time. That's true, she seems to really have it for us, but don't worry, there's no way she'll... Someone's coming. Someone that we don't like. Do not worry. Okay, sounds good. Have all the necessary uh, port arrangements been made? Mr. Burner made it clear to do our best. Something about first impressions being key to good businesses. Hmm. What kind of first and present kind of remote village like ours make? Oh well, all part of the job. Agatha, she's to Agatha Harmon. Harmon. Agatha Harmon. It's specifically, specifically mentioned the port. That's bad news for us. The Guardian's number one job is to provide security. It only makes sense to be at the port. It looks like our little adventure has already hit the roadblock. Yeah, I'm not giving up yet. Time to bring out my secret weapon. What secret weapon? Let's just forget about it and go home, okay? No way. I will just let yell at me. If I'm going to get yelled at, I'd rather get to have the adventure first. I'm not sure that's great logic. Come on, follow me. Come on, quiet. Don't let Agatha spot you. There we go. I discovered a secret port here in my house. It's like it was waiting for this day to come. 
Yeah, why didn't we just go there to begin with? Just come on. and fought those girls. I can't remember how old uh, Razor is. I think she's 16. Could be wrong. Yeah, oh god. Oh, what are those fruit? I mean, in Pokemon, if you see a, a tree with fruit, you can shake it. It's a shame you can't do the same in this game, but... Yeah. Just look nice, those fruits. Berries. Yeah, I kind of don't really want to explore too much. This is the boat she was talking about. Haha, <laughs> 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 what do you think of my secret, uh, super secret port? It even comes with its own boat? Well, you're not wrong, but it's all pretty run down. I guess that's why we didn't come here first, exactly. Can the crew, uh, can this pretty boat even get us to the other side? It looks like it could sink any second. <laughs> oh no, that wouldn't be good. But you know, this place isn't actually a secret. A few of the older fishermen come here quite a lot. Oh, so that's why this old boat is still here. You two always find something to complain about. This is about adventure, you just gotta commit to it. I used to have friends who complain about everything. Oh, we're not friends anymore. Anyway, well, you're not wrong, I guess. But I didn't want to go on an adventure in the first place. The first step on our adventure is reaching the mainland. Then we just gotta find our path. Pull the road as far as it goes, then head west to that area everyone's so afraid of. Wait, this place is totally off limits. It's too dangerous. We can't we'll get in trouble. We can't. What are you talking about? This kind of place is what adventure is all about. Just imagine you reach a shiny tower beyond the northern mountains. Awesome! Huh? <laughs> Don't think so, Lent? Yeah, I'm going on this adventure and show everyone how strong I really am. That's my dream. You're really getting into it, huh, Lent, then? I guess I have no choice. Right, let's go onwards to our place of country. There's a new beginning. I'm going to leave this island. Searching for something truly extraordinary. Hey, looks like, oh god. I've got a bad feeling about this kind of face he's doing when, no, not when to tail. Looks like the merchant isn't here yet. Seems that way, so what should we do? Just hide until they get here? Don't be silly, seeing them was just an excuse to come here. It's not our actual goal, right? Oh, what was our goal again? Seriously, to leave the island and go on a grand adventure. Now let's get to it. Okay, but where, we go? where do we go from here? Should we just keep following this road? We could, but if a uh, guardian finds us, my mum might find out what we, what we did. Hey, check it out, looks like an entrance to the forest. Let's uh, go take a look. 
Oh, I think that's what's known as pretty. Uh, pixie Forest is probably a good choice for our first adventure. <laughs> Seriously, going in now, I don't like the look of it. Fine, fine, you never know unless you try it. Come on. Time for our first adventure. Can we save? Oh, this is annoying. This is Pixie Forest, quite an interesting forest. I think it's called Pixie because of all the fairies that live here and the mushrooms. But there's one there. So this is Pixie Forest, even though it's so close, I've never heard of anyone come here. Don't be afraid, it's right next to the port, so I'm sure any monsters here look smoother. I'm going to go to the next one. If this is how you're acting on our first adventure, you're never going to make it in, uh, to the end. Probably the only people from the whole village who would put ourselves in danger like this. Maybe. That's what, uh, that's what adventures are all about. Okay, enough chit chat, let's get moving. Yeah. That's the first monster in the game. Looks so weird. Look, there's a monster. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh, don't rattle, we need to get used to this if we're going to keep on adventuring. Okay, let's give this a shot. I need to be reminded, if you run into a monster in the field, you'll get it in a battle. The goal is to defeat all the enemies once their HP reaches zero, you win. We have two gauges, the top one is your HP, every party member's HP reaches zero, you lose. The timeline the timeline moves in real time, yeah this is what I was talking about, it's real time. When a character image reaches the bottom, it's their turn. The timeline won't stop even when you're making uh, selections, so be careful. But it's your turn, uh, select an action from the choices on the right. Normal attacks don't cost any AP action points, then you'll gain AP when you attack. Skill points do cost AP, but it'll give you access to powerful abilities. You can move characters to a better position or lead them in battle. Now press B and do a normal attack. Okay. So HP is an AP game. Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to bother reading this. Press toggle to address the mode and negative mode. Other uh, party members will can see maybe to use their skills. That's our first victory. Is it over? Did we win? Yeah, it looks that way. I guess that's our first official victory. We survived, thank goodness. 
Hazlock's time to rest up, we have to keep on going. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Uh, destroy your swinging enemies. Press X to swing your staff. If you hit an enemy, you'll gain an advantage from the, st at the start of the battle. Well, that's like Dragon Quest 11, where if you hit an enemy before, you can take some damage off them before the battle even starts. If you hit an enemy with your staff, you will start the battle with 10 AP. Okay. Right, another one of these. Oh, two this time, okay. Press the wrong button. Oh. So, yeah, wait, turn, turn. There we go. Now it's up. So we gain more experience since we're on easy mode, that's awesome. So I do have to grind, I don't really have to worry that much. Really, this is not just easy mode, this is very easy mode. And I can't remember what you are. And yay, we, uh, oh, full leveled up, nice one. Okay, let's continue on, fight this. This looks interesting, this monster. Let's see, what are they called? Power Pixies, okay. And another one bites the dust. So we have one more victory with level 5. Following. Yeah, they have these in um, different pillars together. I can't remember what it means. But they have a load in real life places as well. There's another one. This will be an easy victory for sure. Giant Weasel. Okay, so yeah, now we've leveled up to level 5. Let's uh, move on, shall we? I could camp in this forest if it wasn't for the monsters. Everything about this game looks gorgeous. I didn't expect uh, to find a big clearing like this in here. These are Kilt Kingdom Ruins. You have them in the village, all that's left of the foundations. It doesn't look like it was very big. I wonder if it was some sort, uh, some kind of forest outpost. Hey, hey don't just go running off. It's your own fault if you stumble in the pocket, into a packet of monsters. Oh, here we go. We've got trouble here. What, Ryzer, what, what did I just say? What are you talking about? I'm right here. I see that. So then, who was that? It doesn't matter, it sounds like it came from the deep air, from deeper into the forest. Yeah, it's here, let's go. Hey, wait up. 
He's the less, he's the least enthusiastic out of the three. Oh, we can discover something new. I hope so too. Would be an ideal home, wouldn't it? You can uh, all this space could be used as a garden or something for plants. When you've got uh, a house there, it's in the middle of nowhere, though. But still. You're going to lead the way, right? right here. I'll be right behind you. Lantern tree. Oh, it's not a so-called lantern tree. Probably shines up, that's why it's called a lantern tree. Let's move on. I suppose these orange flowers all look like lanterns. That's another companion, I think. That we have. Maybe you couldn't tell already. <laughs> what? Whoa! What's the? <laughs> this one looks kind of strong. <laughs> Maybe we can't just abandon someone in trouble. We have to get in there, even if that means dying. <laughs> Coming to rescue the dismal and distress not a bad way to start an adventure. Okay, we've got this. That's quite easy, that one. Looks like we managed to pull through. Yeah, that was a close one. Not really. Not how, hey, how do you feel? Are you hurt? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thanks for saving me. I got lost in here and then that monster attacked me. Sorry you had to go through all that, but we should get out of here. Can you walk? I think I'm getting, I think getting out of here is a great idea, and the sooner the better. Okay, just calm down, we handled ourselves pretty well for our first big battle, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we saved a pretty maiden, and now we, now we get to head home victorious. I'd say we did just fine. They're all doing a victory dance. Hmm? Okay, let's head home. Yeah. PM. There's another cutscene, let's have a look. Rizaline Stout, but everyone calls me Riza. And this is Lent and Taya. That was pretty abrupt that was a pretty abrupt introduction, but uh, introduction, but I guess it's okay for now. My name is Claudia Valitza. I came here with my father. He's, tra he's a travelling merchant. Merchant's a kind of business person. He sells objects or whatever. Oh, yeah. Wait, is he... A is he the same one that's supposed to be coming uh, to our village today? Could be. Oh, but by the way, what's that thing you're carrying? Must be pretty important. Oh, well... 
You don't have to say if you don't want it. Men can be pretty insensitive, insensitive, insensitive sometimes. Hey, why are you? Whoa! Look there. Yeah. Uh, this boss, I don't think we're supposed to win. Yeah, see, look at this. Yeah, I'm not supposed to beat this enemy. See? We're meant to die. Damn, our attacks are useless. Oh no, we have to run away. Yeah, it's out of our league, this enemy. There's boss in our what are we going to do? Here it comes, I'll distract it. You guys sneak past and get out of here. I can't do that. It's true of your level of ability, you can't do anything. You can't do jack shit, in other words. Huh? Everyone, close your eyes. Who the heck are you? Kabam. Dynamite. And just like that. There's some interesting looking people, quite goth. Those people are, but. But no way, huh? No, no way. The monster just. How did you destroy such a strong monster in a single stroke? Strong? If you consider that strong, I'm surprised you've survived this long. We've literally just started our adventure, thank you very much. Anyway, what was that loud noise? Did you do that? That's the power of alchemy, or rather, a fairly simple example of it. Alchemy's chemistry. Okay. You shouldn't waste time talking to them, Emperor. We found our target, let's run let's return to the port. Of course, Lila. We can speak more later. For now, we need to get out of this forest. Uh, okay, I guess we're headed in the same direction. We need we need to head to the port too. Alchemy, I've never seen something so amazing. It's just as exciting as when I think about going on adventures. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Let's head out of here. There's so much to see here, it's completely different from the island. There's the flowering. Now I just need to skip through all these monsters. Then there's a cutscene about that. Yeah. These flowers grow here too, huh? Yes. And we're quite lucky they do. Why? What's so special about them? Monsters can't stand the smell of them. You're safe as long as you're... As long as you got some nearby. In other words, areas like the like this are a good place to rest. Remember that if you intend to come your travel in, intend remember that if you intend to continue your travels. Uh, safety flowers. Sometimes you'll find useful large flowers growing out in the field. These flowers essentially act as like a bed at the Atalaya. I'm going to rest. Atelier. Resting will restore your HP. Use the flower. 
and a flower will need some time to recover before you can use it again. There are very few safe zones out in the wild so keep your eyes peeled for these flowers. Try night time. I like it when it's night. Everything's so cool. I mean, everything's cool in Las Vegas when it's night time. Have you seen it? I haven't. Well, I've seen it on the uh, TV or whatever, but I've never personally been to Las Vegas. Wouldn't mind going there. There's more to do than just bet there. Like, it's the Grand Canyon that I wouldn't mind going to. Oh, hang on, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? Whoops. I'm just going to rest my eyes after I've stopped recording, but I'll edit tonight. And upload it tonight as well for you guys, uh, even though no one's watching my channel at the minute, but that will change sooner or later. Let's head over. It's where we need to be. Your little troublemakers really did it this time. We're really sorry. Please don't yell at Riser. Uh, if these three hadn't shown up, I wouldn't be standing here now. Indeed, we arrived a few moments too late. I'm ashamed to say I failed in my duty. Well, you did save us all from that powerful monster. Yeah, that's true, Agatha. There was, there was a, this huge explosion. It was so cool. You need to acknowledge what you did wrong. It's okay, Agatha. As they say, all's well ends well. Father, I understand that, the Bart, but, the Bart, Walnuts, so Emperor, Lila and Liza was it? Thank you for saving my adventurous young daughter. She does like to stray from the caravan. I'm really sorry, sorry, father. My pleasure. It's the least we could do to thank you for gathering, uh, granting us passage in your carriage. Although, if you wanted to provide us with an extra reward on top of that, you know, and Paul Volmer. Lila decries, decries. Agatha, so, are you travelling to the village on business? Yeah, no. Yes, we, uh, we're investigating Clint Kingdom ruins. Kirkin Island is said to take quite a number of them. <sighs> is that true? It's, it's true that Kirkin Island is littered with ruins. There are even some within the village itself. Hmm, so... If the rumours were true, we would be overjoyed to make the village our home, for the time being. Of course, if that's too much for us, we can certainly make camp here. No. You say the val a valued guest of ours. What kind of host would we be if we didn't welcome you as well? We'd we'll be forever in your debt. Why do adults always have to act so formal? Yeah, it's like everywhere I go, I guess it has something to do with keeping up appearances. I haven't forgotten about you, Liza. Your mother's going to have something to say about this. What? Ha! Ah, I'm glad you already made a friend. We may not be here uh, uh, long, but I hope you'll look after you. Sure. Well then, let's go let, let me show, uh, let me show you the village, if you'd like to join us. Just having a bit of a chin mug or whatever. Yeah. 
よろしく森田さん。互いに良い相談ができるように取り計らって。あの、ちょっと見てみますけど。鳥羽からって。あの、ちょっと見てみますけど。鳥羽からって。あの、ちょっと見てみますけど。鳥羽からって。あの、ち
boss. Who are you calling the lackey? Boss burning. Lumber door. <laughs> hmm, I heard that you got your butts handed to you by some monster. You really want to try that big now? How do you know about that? It's all the poor guardians are talking about how some weak rats are causing me so much trouble. <laughs> And yet, even after such humiliation, you've still got that attitude. Have you no shame, Liza? You're off laying low and staying out of everyone's way. Speaking of which, move aside, run away to Mr. Burning Banquet. Hmm. Ah, so you should have stayed put, but you brought shame to the village in the instant you left the island. Look at that a-holes, those guys. Riser. It's been a long day, why don't we just head home for now? Yeah. That's been a long day. Okay. Boss, I guess there's nothing left to say. Yeah, so I'm enjoying this game so far be good to finish this and then move on to the second game and then finish all the other games that I've, uh, I've got on my laptop. I mean that's the only thing I can do really, play games of lockdown. I can't go out anywhere, I can't meet any mates, I can't go drinking. Yeah, it's fucking shit. It's 2021, we've had this virus for nearly a year and We've got vaccines, but oh, there's still restrictions. It's still fucking frustrating. And I was meant to go to London for Christmas, but I couldn't, and I probably won't be able to go for a while uh, to Harry Potter World because of, of this fucking virus. Anyway, let's just save. Got a cutscene? Yeah. Shame, humiliation, troublemaker. Is it really so awful to want to leave the island? It's not like I'm special or anything, but... Everyone has to try and take the first step, right? Otherwise, you'll never get anywhere. <sighs> Rise up. Lent and Tao are here. Please excuse us. Yeah, sorry to bother you, Miss Strauss, but, you know, you're looking just as peaceful as ever. Liza, we got good news. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're still not thinking of what Boss said, are you? Forget about that, dude. Yeah, just listen to this. Eh, forget it, I'm not interested in those dumb diagrams of yours right now. Wow, you're really upset. You really are upset, huh? But it's got nothing to do with that. It's about Ample and Lila. Huh? Rising. Apparently there's... They're renting a place in Old Town and we... Found out where. Want to check it out? You said you'd be interested in, in alchemy, right? Alchemy, yeah, that's right. Well, what are you two just standing there for? Let's go. Oh, it doesn't take much to cheer her up. Yeah. yeah, I guess not. Uh, it's better than her lying around her room all depressed. Anyway, let's go after her. Yeah, if we head to Lord Tower from Bowden District, the place should be on the left. Alright, so yeah, uh, that will do it, I think. This is as far as I got last time. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll continue in part 2 of Eliza, uh, of Riser Ever Darkness. Have a good one guys, and take care, see you later.